Hi guys, so I'm Jordan, I am the critical care educator and I have our lovely volunteer Miss Casey from Neuro ICU who is going to help me demonstrate how to properly use the train of four and the biz monitor. So we're going to start with our train of four. Per our policy, when we are checking a train of four, we always go first to the ulnar nerve. If you cannot use the ulnar nerve because of edema or um, something else that's going on with the ulnar nerve, you can use the temple as your um, second location. But please start with the ulnar nerve. So before you initiate a paralytic on a patient, you do have to get a baseline train of four as long as it's safe for the patient. If your patient is crashing and burning and you need to go ahead and utilize your um, paralytic, please just go ahead and do it. We can get the baseline train of four later. But if you have time and you can, please make sure you get a baseline train of four first because that is the number that you will titrate off of um, following. So we're gonna start with Casey here. Um, I've already tested her baseline just for <laughs> her nerve purposes, but you will start at the lowest amp, which on a train of four is one, and you will go and hit your train of four and look for four buttons, or four twitches, I'm sorry. You will hit the train of four button on your train of four and look for four twitches. So since I already know what Casey's uh, baseline is, I'm gonna go ahead and go up to her baseline, which is six. So if you don't know their baseline, you would start at one and gradually work their way up. Gradually work your way up until you see four out of four twitches. No, you're not twitching now. <laughs> I think I've got to be more relaxed. <laughs> As you can see, she had four out of four twitches on an amp of six. Again, you will start at one and work your way up until you see four out of four twitches. Once you see four out of four twitches, you have your baseline number. And for all further assessments, you will go straight to that baseline. So for Casey, when I come back in and reassess her train of four every two hours as per our policy, I would go straight to six amps. Not above it, not a below it, go straight to six amps. If I go to six amps and I see zero or one out of two twitches, then Casey is too paralyzed and I will need to titrate her paralytic down. If I see four out of four twitches, then Casey's not paralyzed enough and I will need to increase her paralytic per our policy. We want to see two out of four twitches. That's a perfectly paralyzed patient and you wouldn't make any changes to your drip. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or reach out to myself. Thanks guys.